Right, so now baseball that's still going to be played as far as we know. Yes. The Twins, who won 100 games last year. Yes. Look what they did. They went out and got Josh Donaldson at about 18 million. Look at that year. lineup, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Max Kepler, who kills the Indians. Jorge Polanco, Josh Donaldson, the projected lineup. Nelson Cruz, Eddie Rosario, Mitch Garver, uh, Miguel Sano, Luis uh, Arias, and uh, Byron Buxton, okay. one of the best defensive center fielders at any time. If anyway. Buxton ever remains healthy, Arias, we saw him take off yeah. in the second half of the year. You got Sano sitting in the seven hole. This lineup, I believe, returned five 30 home run guys, and then you add Donaldson to that. Well, I would think the Indians' pitching is starting pitching is better than Minnesota, but the lineup is not. No. Look at the White Sox; their projected 2020 lineup. Look uh, out, Mancada, uh, the batting ch AL batting champ, Tim Anderson, their shortstop, Jose Abreu, Yasmani Grandal, Edwin Encarnacion shows up, Eloy uh, Jimenez, uh, Nomar Mazara. Luis uh, I, I don't Robert, know the Robert. guy who signed the big contract right. while he's in the minor leagues. Right. He's expected to potentially break camp. And Lure uh, Garcia. Lure, I mean, These teams are loaded. That lineup is loaded. But Mazzara, I, I'll take it to the bank. If Mazzara stays healthy, he's hitting 30 bombs this year. Oh, that God. kid is, is a good one, and he's in a park where his fly balls are going to carry. Runs. All right, are there 30 home runs in this project, projected Indians lineup of 2020? Let's take a look. Of course, you've got one of the top five players in all of baseball in Francisco Lindor. Oscar Mercado, Mercado rather, uh, Carlos Santana, Jose Ramirez, Fran Mil Reyes, Cesar Hernandez, uh, Jake Bowers, and uh, Roberto Perez, the catcher, and Greg Allen. Pitching yeah. is better, but... My only tweak to that would be uh, Luplo and left. I think Luplo is going to get the, the shot, it's certainly against lefties and maybe full time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's... It's a solid lineup. Don't get me wrong. The Indians lineup is not bad, but compared to the White Sox and the Twins, it's lacking. Now, I'm hoping the Indians have one more acquisition in their quiver, and that would be the right fielder or the DH, whichever one Reyes doesn't want to play on that given day. Well, I heard Terry Francona today say that they, they've talked to uh, Reyes, and they've told him what they want out of him. If he, if he can improve defensively, he's got a job, full-time job. Yeah, but I think they're also they would also be okay if Reyes said, "I want to be a DH full time," because you're not going to walk away from 50 home runs potentially. All right.